Obesity is a dangerously large accumulation of fat in a person's body. The fat becomes large enough that the person becomes prone to deadly diseases such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and certain types of cancer. Obesity has become a problem, especially now because America is becoming less and less active. Children aren't using their recess time to play tag or to run, but rather to play video games. Some kids who couldn't run as fast would get bothered and then they wouldn't want to play tag. And then they would sit and do nothing for recess instead of playing tag with everyone else. They would rather watch a movie, stay home, play on the computer, rather than go outside with their friends and play. And, you know, as a kid growing up, playing basketball, um, I used to get tired a lot running. Things that involved running, I used to try and avoid. A survey done by the Federal Highway Administration says that 43.7% of boys and 52% of girls are not enrolled in physical education. Most adults aren't even as active. Adults are more sedentary than ever. Statistically, obesity seems to affect people of color more. 44% of blacks are obese and 37% of Hispanics are obese. These percentages are higher than whites' obesity rate, which is 33%. Obesity has affected me all my life. Uh, since I was born, I was overweight. And um, as, I, as I started growing up, I started getting more and more bigger. And, you know, eventually at seventh grade, I was already at 270 pounds. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services say that poverty can link to obesity due to the consumption of inexpensive but high-fat foods. As I started to discuss with people, they believe those in poverty have a higher chance of being obese too. I think poverty could affect obesity because the cheaper foods are always the fattier foods. And if you want to eat healthy, it's a lot more expensive. They could be under poverty, which they can afford the actual food that they need to be healthy. So they only go for the junk food. I think obesity is growing because our food is not as healthy as before. Ninth grade, a doctor was talking to me and she, decided, she told me that I was at high risk of diabetes. In the spring, uh, I decided to do track and field, which was, you know, for me, I, I was like, uh, I was kind of scared to do track and field because it's kind of, you know, it's all about running. And me at that time, I didn't want to run at all. When we joined track and field, Yao didn't really like to run. Um, we would have to do warm up miles every day. He would hate that, but I encouraged him. We usually went out to the track on Saturday nights and then we'd run when it's cool and just motivate him, teach him methods, techniques, and all that, and he actually got to run a mile without stopping, too, so. I was willing to make, a, you know, a change to myself, a good one, and my friends and family were behind me all the way, and that's a good thing, you know. I lost 50 pounds from all that. And then he would stay active just to keep that weight down. And if you look at a course from sixth grade to now, it's changed tremendously. Many steps have been taken to reduce the obesity rates here in America, but we need more. America needs to break out of the fast food chains and start buying organic foods. If we want to become a healthy nation, we first need to be an aware nation. For more information on where to find a local farmer's market, go to www.localharvest.org or farmfresh.org.